you like throwing big baits? Big baits catch big fish, right? But you're running into a problem of your hookup ratio is low. Um, you know, or you're not entirely sure how to rig them up. This is a video you need to watch. I like to use a snail 
on that. Okay. So I tie two different types of loops. I tie one with two circle loops on it. Um, this is nice for the bigger meats, big bluegill, um, carp, things like that. Um, and it just that very large gap allows those thicker baits um, and it'll still allow you a good hookup ratio and everything else. Okay. Uh, these hooks I bought off Amazon. A uh, little cheapo, I, I think it was like Rip Tail or something like that brand. I bought these because I couldn't get the Gamakatsu 8 aughts or 10 aughts because they weren't on Prime at that moment. That happens sometimes on Amazon. So I went ahead and ordered these cheap ones. Okay, well, this was a package of 25, and there's still probably 10 books in this package. The reason for that is every single one of these is still in the package, and the ones that I just took out have dull tips, bent over tips, something like that. And yeah, I can fix them all. I, ha I carry a file and everything else in my boat, um, you know, plus numerous other tackle here in the tackle room. But when I buy Gamakatsu, I don't have that problem. I can take that entire package, throw it right on my kayak, and not worry that I'm going to run into bad hooks, hooks with folded tips or dull points or something like that. So, rip tail, circle hook, I don't recommend them. Don't buy them. It's not worth it. Even if they are cheaper, you know, unless you really want to go through every single hook and resharpen them and everything else. I like the metal passes. And I've never bent one. Every single time they're ultra sharp out of the package or everything else. So, here's the recommendation for them. Alright, so like I say, I tie two different types of leaders. I tie one with two circle hooks, okay, and this is for bigger baits and everything else. And then I tie another one. These are must add three aught, I buy them 25 pack, phenomenal hook. Um, I think these are the 2x strong. You can get these like 4x strong for some of your saltwater game fish and everything else. If you're fishing, kingfish or something like that, those really big, powerful, fast-running fish, you need a heavier duty hook. The catfishing I do, 2x strong, just fine. It's a pretty big hook, right? Okay, so I use these on smaller baits, you know, the, the bigger anchovies and stuff that I get, uh, smaller carp and whatnot, um, and I'll put one of these on the bottom, and then I'll put a circle hook up above it. And I'll vary this depending on the size of the bait that I'm using, but this is between the two hooks. So let's tie the one off with the treble first. Obviously with the treble hook, you're not going to smell it. Alright, so what I do for that is standard Palomar knot. Now I don't need to show you all the Palomar knot if you don't know how to tie one. Um, there is thousands of YouTube videos on how to tie this knot. And it's a phenomenal knot. Um, probably my go-to knot for tying everything off. Okay. Okay, Palabar on the bottom. Turn your tag in. Snell knot. Again, this is the knot that there's millions and millions of videos about on YouTube. So if you don't know how to tie a snell knot, look those up. Okay, so I've just slid the leader, the hook onto the leader, coming from the bottom up on the back side of the hook, slide it down the leader. And then as far as distance goes, I, I base it on the type of base that I use, okay? So I'm using a bluegill. Most of the bluegill I use are about the size of my hand, okay? So lay it in my hand. The, the spread is a little bit smaller than my hand. There's about an inch in between the eye of this hook and the bottom of this hook, okay? So then I'll pinch off line on the shank of the circle hook, make my wraps, eight wraps, 
smell those, it's always come up through the bottom. It goes over the top. The purpose of that is put the right tension on it so that way the, the hook when you're pulling on this line comes up into the fish's mouth rather than pulling away and just keep him up from the other side. So always up from the bottom and out the top. Gives you the right roll. That's what that looks like when those two are tied together. Okay. With this, I'll hook one tying of this hook into the bait itself. And so that way the other two are sticking out. Let's see if I can't find a big bait and I can show you an example. Right onto the swivel 
off my main line. Then if you need to switch it out, it comes right off. Just makes time management that much easier on the water. Okay, so this is the rig with the treble hook. The other one that I tie has two circle hooks and a double snout. So cut off your two foot of leader material to your snell knot. Thank you.